As always with a new book, there are things you discover even after publication. I've been reading Growing Patterns, Fibonacci Numbers in Nature at school, and the kids are always bursting to tell me what they think the book is about. And guess what they think this book is about? Come close. Bees! And now that I look at it, I can really see why they think that. And that is something that happens when you do this special kind of photography that Richard and I do, this macro photography where things are larger than life and you get really close and all you can see is the colors and the lines. So then I open the book for them to see and then they can see that it's the center of a sunflower. It's not a swarm of bees. But I want to tell you something about this photograph. This is one of Richard's photographs. He did the cover for this book. And this is actually seven pictures merged into one. And this is a special kind of photography called high definition. Nope, sorry. It's high dynamic range photography, HDR photography. And what that allows is for you to get all the different colors, all the different lights from the darkest to the lightest over seven photographs and merge them together so it makes it almost 3D. It really makes it a very vibrant uh, photograph. So that's something special about this. The other special thing about the way this book is made and what this book looks like, you notice how long it is this way? This is a special shape. It's called a golden rectangle. And the golden rectangle is when the sides of the rectangle have a certain ratio to each other. And it's a specific number that has been developed. Oh, um, it's a specific number that comes from a fraction. And it's related to Fibonacci numbers. As the Fibonacci numbers get larger and larger, like the ones 89 and 144 and larger and larger, when you put the Fibonacci numbers one over another in a fraction, the ratio you get is the golden ratio. And so that is the shape that we chose for this book because it's about Fibonacci numbers. <laughs>